Hello Internet people! In this tutorial I'll show you how to purchase a domain name from Namecheap. We will just buy the domain, you will still need the hosting to get started with your website. But I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Arnie, what do you think about Namecheap? <laughs> Tip Sweat Punch! Alright, I'm slowly transferring all my domain names from GoDaddy to Namecheap, so that I have a central place for all my domains. I prefer Namecheap because they have affordable prices, when registering a domain they keep your personal information anonymous for free and the interface is easy to use. Having a domain name separate from your hosting requires a bit more setup time but I think the savings are worth it. If you are still unsure about Namecheap, check out the video that will appear on your screen now, where I will tell you why I prefer Namecheap over GoDaddy. Enough talk. Let's get started. Go to Namecheap.com. The URL is also in the description. In the big search bar, type your domain name and the extension. So in my case, I will be registering storemonkeywp.com and start the search. At this stage, it will tell you if your domain is available and it will also suggest other domain extensions like .to and .net. If you haven't, let me help you to come up with a great domain names. The video explaining this will appear on your screen now. I'll just buy the .com, so just add your selection to the cart. Then there will be some upsells, but you don't really need any of them and you can get them later anyway. So click on view cart. In this screen, you will see what is included in your purchase. You can select the registration duration. I'll leave this one for one year. Because you never know when you find something better, like Turkish Rambo. Show them how it's done. Okay, that was weak. If you scroll down, keep the Whois guard enabled. This makes Namecheap register the domain name without exposing your personal details in Whois database, which is publicly available. And it basically shows the personal details of the person who registered the domain. With this guard, Namecheap will use something generic, like you see on your screen now for my domain, they just use their own details here and some address. There are other things they are upselling here, but we won't be needing them. So just click on confirm order. In the next screen, you will need to create an account. Go ahead and pause this video while you add all the details. Once you're done filling the information, just remove the check mark from the newsletter, unless you really want it. Turkish Rambo, what do you think about newsletters? No, but for reals, who made that sound effect? Sounds more like me in the toilet. And then click on create account and continue. Next, you will need to enter more details. You can pause the video now and add your details there. Once you're done, click on continue on the right. The next screen is just a summary and then click on continue. In the next page, you will choose the payment method. Just add your credit card or use PayPal. And again, just pause the video while you're filling everything. Then click on continue. Once again, there will be a summary page. Check everything and click on the button here on the right. Next, if you pay with PayPal, just log in to your PayPal account and complete the steps to purchase. Otherwise, you will see the screen with processing your order. If everything went well with your payment, then you will see this screen. Just click on next. At this point, you've just bought a domain. It's now registered to you at Namecheap. There's one more thing you need to do though. You should receive an email from Namecheap where you need to confirm your email. The email looks like this. Just scroll to the bottom where it says verify your email address and click on it. Success! Now your account is confirmed, you have your domain Let's double check that our domain is actually appearing in Namecheap. You can now click on Namecheap logo and log in to your account. And then go to the dashboard. If you scroll down, you can see your domain in the list. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. If you don't have a web hosting yet, Check out the first video where I compare four hosting providers with each other. 
And if you want to link Namecheap with your hosting provider, check out the second video. Whoosh!